Hi. I don't think I've said anything yet on this vlog. I've been filming little bits of my patch making, but yeah, hi. Um, this week, there have been a few things that like nothing bad, but just stuff happening that would have made me really anxious. And I'm trying to make positive changes in my life. So I just worked really hard on just being a normal person and not getting completely freaked out by stuff that isn't even a bad thing. And I've, I've done a good job. My brain has been pretty good this week. I did manage to just put it all into this cold sore, I think, rather than being really anxious and fried. I just grew a massive cold sore, which I'm really tempted to zoom in on and show you, but I know that no one wants to see that as much as I like staring at it. But yeah, so I have a massive cold sore instead of a completely ruined brain, and I'm actually quite proud of that. I think that this is progress. <laughs> anyway, what I've been up to is I got, oh, this chair. Here are some patches. Yesterday, I I did the like first bit of the bonder web stuff, like putting it onto the oh is that gonna stay on there? You're a bit wobbly. So you put the bonder web on the back of this bit and then you put that on to this bit, if that makes sense. But anyway, I did the first step of the bonder web and managed to put the iron down on the glue side of the bonder web and got glue all over my iron, which was fun, but means that I have an amazing tip for you that if you're as silly as me and do that wait for the iron to cool down and then I manage to clean it all off with nail varnish remover look there you are hi but yeah look how clean it is magic nail varnish remover got all the glue off and then this morning I ironed them onto the backing fabric but I am not having much luck with that bonder web. It didn't, like some of them it just didn't stick at all. I don't know if I'm using the wrong heat or if it's just cheap, crappy bonder web stuff or if it's um, the fabric. I'm not sure, but it didn't really work. So then I got my good old fast and tacky fabric glue that it won't focus on and there we go. And I went round this chair, man. The ones that weren't sticking down, I went in with this to stick them down. I stayed away from the edges because this is um, more difficult to sew through. So when I sew around the edge, I didn't want to have to put the needle through this. So that's why like the edge is still um, loose. But all in the middle is stuck down. So now I need to cut these out and sew around all the edges. I think I want to make more though, I feel like this isn't substantial enough. But for now I can get on with these ones anyway. I just did this little drawing about how my eyes hurt and there's these little people in there being like oh chappy chappy and I drew this idea out last night before I read the story about that woman that had tiny little bees in her eyes and now this is a bit too real and makes my eyes feel even weirder but anyway <laughs> this is a drawing I've done and I thought it would be interesting to show you what I used because I'm a big fan of you don't need to buy expensive things to be good. Um, this is the paper. It's like, it's got to be at least 10 years old. I don't think that they even exist anymore. I'm pretty sure I bought it when I was still living at home. 
like home like parents home so this is really really old it's just basic just I don't know it's nothing fancy I mean you can see there it's 110 GSM but it's not like smooth or rough or anything it doesn't claim to be anything fancy it's just some cheap paper and then uh, the fine liner I used this uni pin one that's running out a bit. I need to get some new fine liners. But yeah, that's not like the most fancy fine liner, it's just a good basic one. And then this is fairly fancy brush marker. They're fancy to me anyway. I know markers have various levels of fancy, but I see that as a fancy one. But then the other two colours is these ones that I got from Tiger, and they're two pounds for a pack of three. And they're actually pretty good. Like, this isn't the best example because it's all very small pieces. But then if you're only ever colouring small areas, then they're definitely fine. This is not working very well. But see, I don't think you'd know that the pink was a different pen to the yellow and the blue. I think that they're pretty good. I get on with them really well anyway. But yeah, that is what I used to do this picture. Maybe it was interesting. I don't know. I'm so close to being done with these patches. This one, I have just like this little bit left to do on the edging. And then I have like two more that still need edging and the rest of them have all been done. But I'm having to take it, <coughs> excuse me, I'm having to take it quite slowly and do it bit by bit because it's hurting my wrist. It's weird. It's not the sewing hand that hurts. It's holding the patch. I think this grip is like tensing in here and it gets quite sore. So it's taking a little while, but I'm almost there, and then they'll be done. I think next time I make patches, I'll use a different technique, but I've almost done these. They're almost done. Uh, I think that was it. I think that was all I had to say. I've almost finished them. I think last time I said anything about the patches, I hadn't started doing this yet. But I think I've explained it before. But yeah, I'm getting there. sunny and this is so heavy and the light's really weird and the sky looks awesome this is so cool First, the EPA has done studies on crematory emissions, and when you look at, we don't just shove a corpse into a cremation chamber and open up the chimney and let all the smoke out. 